Alright, you bastards, this is some Belgian Prepper, and today we're going to talk about all the survival uses about a foldable shovel. And even some things that you probably never would have thought about. Uh, it's an old ancient ninja secret, so stay tuned if you want to see that. Uh, but before we start, if you're interested in det detective stories, uh, look in the description down the video. Uh, there is, it's an 11 part series that I wrote, it's the first one, it's called Bloody Cross, it's, it's in Dutch, so if you're interested, look down in the description of the video. So, uh, a foldable shovel. I heard so many people say that they would not take this in their bug out bag or even during hiking. And why? Because they say it's too heavy and it's too big and how I don't really use shovel, but if you're really going to do some serious survival, you're gonna need a shovel. And I will tell you now why. First of all, I always uh, take one of the one of these uh, trench tools, like they, they are called by the Marines. So yeah, this is just uh, a small shovel. It's small enough to, uh, to fit in your bug out bag. But to be honest, it weighs a little bit because it's fully made out of metal, but I prefer it to be made out of metal instead of one with a wooden handle. Because this one, you can do more things with these than with just a wooden handle on it. Although the wooden handle would be lighter. So yeah, you just pull this open and you screw this a little bit to the top, and you got uh, an entrenchment tool. So yeah, why, what can you do with this? Well, I can think of several things you can do with it. Even something that you probably never thought about. Uh, uh, so. Yeah, I will keep that for, for later on, just to tease you guys. So, what, why do, would you need this during a bug out? First of all, if you're, it could be used for several things. For uh, digging a campfire uh, site so that uh, it's out of the wind, you can build, you can dig a, a hole, a small wall of dirt to protect the campfire and to reflect some of the heat, so you do not, do not need that much uh, firewood because it's being used to reflect the heat to, towards you. That's another thing. Digging latrines because if you're going to take to shit in the woods, it will attract bears or some other unwelcome guests. Or if you want to be stealthy, yeah, some people that are behind you like gangs of or sol soldiers. So that could be also be bad. Uh, another thing that you can do with this is uh, you can remove you, if you place uh, stones at the at the campfire. Those stones are warming up, uh, keeping the heat inside of them. And before you're going to sleep, you dig a little hole beneath your shelter, put, take the stones, put them beneath your shelter, put some dirt on it, and it will give off the heat during the night, so it will warm up the ground beneath your shelter, so there will be less body heat retracted from you while you're sleeping there. So that's another thing you can do with this. You can, uh, if you sharpen this and it's made out of quality metal, you can use it to chop some small branches to, uh, for the firewood. Like you can see, there is also some uh, teeth that you can use to do a little bit of, uh, of sawing. But I would uh, advise to keep, uh, keep something to sharpen it. <coughs> you can use it as an improvised, uh, uh, how do you say this, pan. So if you have a piece of, uh, of meat, you place it on top of it acro across the fire and you can bake something on it, even an egg. But to be honest, if you do that, the heat will weaken the metal and yeah, it can break if you do this a little bit too much. So I would only advise to do that kind of thing when you are for once or when you are really desperate. So that's one thing that you can do. Uh, one of the prob probably all the Marines are probably that see this video will probably say, what is he going to talk about defense? Well, this is an excellent uh, defense weapon. The Marines train with this entrenchment tool with great results in close combat and melee uh, fighting. So the thing, so as you can see, the, the handle is perfect for smacking, even uh, with longer distances for swings. If this is sharpened the, uh, during World War One, many soldiers preferred uh, a, sho a sharpened shovel uh, over a bayonet for close quarter combat in the trenches. So. Has the name entrenchment tool. So yeah, that's a perfect defense weapon. And if you get stopped by the police or the military and they say, what do you have in your back? They will not really see a weapon in this the, to arm other people. Uh, instead, uh, 
But if they see a knife or a gun, they will say, oh, you're up to no good, we will arrest you. But if they see this, uh, they will let you through and it will be still be uh, a formidable self-defense weapon. Another thing you can do this, if you're going into a building and you need to escape uh, quickly through a window, you can just bash the window with this and you can scrape the frame to get, uh, get uh, how do you say this, the little pieces of glass so you can jump out of the window. So that's another thing you can do. Uh, you can use this to, uh, these are the little tricks that not many pep uh, preppers are talking about. You can make a little shelter with this. So if you have a low, uh, uh, how do you say it, a low profile shelter, you can just shove this in the ground and you can either uh, use this to uh, use this as a supporting uh, stick uh, for your tarp or your shelter. Or what you can do is you st stick it in the ground and you use it as an anchor to bind some ropes or not uh, for the tarp or the shelter. So yeah, that's another thing you can do. And if you want to to climb over a wall, and it is a little ninja trick uh, that not many people will know about. Ninjas uh, did a certain thing with their swords. Uh, we all know the ninja swords were short, were actually short katanas. So what they do, they bind the rope to the sword to their feet, and they lead it against the wall, they step on the shuba, the protecting plate of the sword and they had so much more height that they, they can get over, the, over a wall quickly and then they climb over that the rope that is attached to the sword gets, uh, gets uh, with them up. The same thing applies for this shovel. Uh, if there is a wall and I come this, uh, this distance short to get some grip and pull myself over the wall, you can just Bind the, bind the cord around this, around your foot, shove, uh, stick it in the ground or lean it against the wall and use this uh, and use this part, the straight bit, to put your foot on top of it and you, and you have so much more reach to get over that wall and if you climb over it, then a rope on, on your feet will drag this out of the ground and yeah, you will not lose your shovel while climbing over a wall. So that's actually a little urban or our bugout survival trick to climb over walls. So yeah, that's why I prefer an uh, entrenchment tool like this because it's so multifunctional. You can do so many things. I probably forgot at least five things uh, in this video that you can do with this. So if you have any other uses that I said in this video for the entrenchment tool, please let me know in the comments. I'm always eager to learn uh, new things and new tricks or something that I can turn this into a more uh, a uh, bigger multi-tool than it already is, uh, rich my imagination. So yeah, I would say uh, thank you for watching, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff and see you in the next video. Cheers!